I think TypeScript is my favorite programming language and it has been for a few years now. It's got loads of cool modern features and it can be used across the entire stack. You can write front ends in it, you can write APIs, serverless backend systems, even mobile apps you can do in TypeScript with React Native. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of what TypeScript is and why it's worth at least knowing about. TypeScript was developed at Microsoft in about 2010 and it really came about as a way to fix a perceived problem with JavaScript and that's the lack of types. Types in programming are a way to communicate to the compiler and also to other developers um, what shape some data will take. So if I have a user object somewhere in my system that's stored in a NoSQL database like this, then I can create a type for this. And in that type, I define the properties. So my user has a property called name and that is a string. When you load this object from the database or you create a new instance of it, you assign it to this type. And from then on, you can type user.name anywhere in the code and the compiler will check what you've typed and give you the okay. If you typed user.firstname by mistake or just because you forgot, then the compiler will say, hang on, you told me this user doesn't have a property called first name. So I'm not gonna let you compile that, you've made a mistake. And 99% of the time, when the TypeScript compiler tells you you've made a mistake, you probably have. If this was just normal JavaScript and not TypeScript, then that mistake will go unchecked, basically until that bit of code um, that calls user.firstname is executed, and then you'll get undefined. And you might not even get a JavaScript error right away, it might sit there as undefined somewhere in an object, and then maybe you try to do something like running a function on it, and JavaScript will fail. But if you did this, try to perform some function on a string that you think is there but actually isn't, then the error you get from JavaScript will actually be extremely vague, Something like uh, cannot read properties of undefined. When you compare that to the original TypeScript error, you can see how helpful TypeScript actually is. So not only do you find your errors more quickly, but the error itself is more descriptive. TypeScript also helps when you're collaborating on some code. So let's say my colleague at work might have created this user object in the database and made this user type for me in TypeScript. Well, I just import that as an NPM package and immediately I know what properties are gonna be on that user when I load it from the database. I don't need to go and ask that person who wrote it or even read the documentation to find out what the name property is called on that user object. The type is the documentation and it's right there next to your cursor in your IDE. So types can be used to communicate the shape of data, not just to the compiler, but to human beings as well. And the last and probably biggest benefit of TypeScript is the way it unlocks code completion in the IDE. So if you type user dot into VS Code, you might have seen this little menu pop up. Well, that's code analysis and code completion being done for you in the IDE. Microsoft calls this IntelliSense, but all IDEs have this and it works way better with TypeScript. In TypeScript, I can just type user dot and browse all of the possible uh, properties on that user, um, including their types and whether or not they're guaranteed to be defined. I can even ask the IDE to navigate directly where that type is defined for me. So that gives you the ability to jump around your code base following the flow of data and function calls in a way that you just can't do very well in JavaScript. And that massively speeds up how fast you can write code. So yes, TypeScript's great because it has types, but I said at the start that it's my favorite programming language, and that's not the only reason. Lots of languages have types. In fact, I think it's only really JavaScript and Ruby and maybe a couple of others that don't have static typing going on. The other big thing about TypeScript, and the reason that I love it, is because it's so ubiquitous. Because it compiles down to JavaScript, you can use TypeScript anywhere that you can use JavaScript. And you can use JavaScript in a lot of places. You can use JavaScript for cloud functions, in edge computing, like on CloudFront servers, um, Internet of Things, backend Linux servers, even Windows servers. There's something called JavaScript services for .NET Core that executes JavaScript. Basically, if it exists and developers use it, it can probably run JavaScript. And because TypeScript compiles down to JavaScript, you can use TypeScript in all of these places as well. Hey, you can even write Webpack configs in TypeScript now too. Just rename your Webpack config from JS to .ts um, and suddenly you get all the code completion and type checking for your config file. It's really, really good. I've written several web applications with front ends and back ends and build scripts and everything in TypeScript compiled down to JavaScript. And you can share your types as well. So if you're doing something with that user object that we saw earlier on the front end, and then let's say that you want to write some back end function too that let's say, emails that user, 
Well, you can use that same TypeScript definition on the back end as well, which massively speeds up your development. It's probably one of the only true full stack languages that has types. Anyway, that was my hard sell on the benefits of TypeScript and why I think that everyone, no matter where you are in your software engineering journey, should give it a try. Um, if you've got any questions or if you've got any of your own opinions about TypeScript, please put them in the comment section below. I will get back to you and thank you for watching my video.